Hey everyone, I'm Dwartin at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if you can't change the display resolution in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to use Device Manager. To do this right click the Windows button and select Device Manager from the list of options. In the Device Manager window just make sure to expand the display adapters by double clicking it and then right click the problematic device and select the properties option. In here click on the driver tab and you'll see that you have plenty of options to fiddle with. But let's start by pressing on the Update Driver button. Now click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best possible driver for your PC. Otherwise, if this solution doesn't work, you can also uninstall the device. So click on the Uninstall Device button and then make sure to tick the box next to Attempt to remove the driver for this device. Now confirm by pressing on Uninstall. After the device has been uninstalled, just restart your PC and Windows will try to reinstall automatically the driver for this device. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to update Windows 11. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane make sure to scroll down until you find and select the Windows update section. Then on the right side just click on the blue check for updates button and wait until Windows will try to find the best possible updates for your PC. After you install the updates, just restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. You can also update other drivers. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane scroll down until you find the Windows Update section and click on it. In here on the right side, just click on Advanced Options and afterwards scroll down until you find the Optional Update section and select it. Now click on the Driver Updates drop-down menu and then tick the box to any drivers that you find in here and click on the blue Download and Install button. After installing the necessary drivers, restart your PC and then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another great solution is to run the SFC scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and run command prompt as an administrator. In here, just type the following command and then press Enter after this command. Now just wait a bit because the scan can take some time and afterwards you can restart your PC and lastly just check if the problem still persists. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.